The Gateless Gate Long ago, there was a young man who wanted to become a Zen monk. He had heard of a famous master named Wuman, who had compiled a collection of koans called the Gateless Gate. He decided to travel to Wuman's temple and seek his guidance. He arrived at the temple after a long and arduous journey. He knocked on the gate and waited for someone to answer. After a while, he heard a voice from inside. Who are you and what do you want? The voice asked. I am a seeker of the way. I wish to study with Master Wuman and learn from his wisdom, the young man replied. Master Wuman is not here. He has gone to another temple for a while. You can wait for him if you like, but I don't know when he will return, the voice said. Can I enter the temple and stay here until he comes back? The young man asked. No, you cannot. The temple is closed for visitors. Only those who have passed the gateless gate can enter, the voice said. What is the gateless gate? The young man asked. It is a test of your understanding and insight. It is a barrier that separates the enlightened from the deluded. It is a collection of 48 koans that Master Woman has written and commented on. If you can solve them all, you can enter the temple. If not, you must leave, the voice said. Can you give me an example of a koan? The young man asked. Sure, I can give you one. Here is case one, Joshu's dog. A monk asked Joshu, a Chinese Zen master, has a dog good nature or not? Joshu answered, Moo. Now, tell me, what does Moo mean? The voice asked. The young man thought hard about the koan. He tried to recall what he had learned about Buddhism and Zen. He wondered what Joshu meant by Mu. He pondered over the question of Buddha nature and dog. He searched for an answer that would satisfy the voice and let him enter the temple. But no matter how much he thought, he could not find an answer that made sense to him. He felt confused and frustrated. He realized that he did not understand the koan at all. He said to the voice, I don't know what Mu means. I don't know what Joshi meant by it. I don't know what Buddha nature is, or whether a dog has it or not. I don't know anything. The voice said, Good, good. You have answered correctly. You have passed the first koan of the gateless gate. The young man was surprised and delighted. He said, Really? How did I pass? I didn't give any answer at all. The voice said, Exactly. You didn't give any answer at all. You didn't try to explain or justify or rationalize or argue or doubt or affirm or negate anything. You just admitted your ignorance and confusion honestly and humbly. You just expressed your true mind as it is, without any fabrication or pretense or attachment or aversion. You just said, I don't know. That is Mu. The young man said, I see, I see. So Mu means, I don't know? The voice said, no, no, no. Mu doesn't mean I don't know. Mu doesn't mean anything at all. Mu is just Mu. The young man said, but then, what is Mu? The voice said, Mu is Mu. The young man said, but then, what is Mu? The voice said, Mu is Mu. The young man said, but then, what is Mu? The voice said, Mu is Mu. And so on and so forth until the young man realized that he was trapped in an endless loop of questions and answers that led nowhere. He realized that he was still stuck in his own mind, trying to grasp something that was beyond words and concepts and logic and reason. He realized that he had not really passed the first koan of the gateless gate at all. He realized that he had not even entered the gateless gate yet. He realized that there was no gate to enter in the first place. He realized that he was already inside the temple all along. He realized that he was already Buddha all along. He realized that he was already Mu all along. And at that moment, he was enlightened.